Okay, in one or two of the other previous videos I've demonstrated how to use um, the skin tone uh, functionality of X-Ways Frantics um, in order to specifically highlight uh, black and white pictures uh, from the point of view of trying to find uh, uh, documentation that might have been scanned or emailed um, because typically they contain a high ratio of black and white. Um, what I didn't demonstrate in that previous video was how you can use the same functionality uh, to do what I think is its primary purpose um, and that is to quickly and easily find uh, picture files that have got a high ratio of skin tone. Um, so what I've done is uh, I've created a USB drive with a portable version of Firefox on it. I've gone onto Google and uh, tried to find a variety of uh, skin tone related pictures. Uh, now obviously the x waist clip site is, uh, 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 it doesn't have an age ranking on it um, and obviously one has to be careful as to the kind of images that uh, I try and collect but suffice to say I've tried to get a sample of a couple of hundred pictures um, ranging from all sorts, typical portrait photos, some ladies in bikinis, um, men and women, uh, white people, black people, Asian people, so on and so forth um, uh, and I've thrown in there a few uh, images that are generally all black and generally all white uh, to try and show the whole range of the features um, so I'll just quickly add this image to this new case that I've created here uh, it's a 2 gig USB drive but um, it's only about 100 meg the actual image uh, for some reason the recording software on here keeps throwing my double click functionality out the window on my mouse so um, I'll try and use the, key, the enter key and stuff where, where necessary um, so I've created a new case, I've added this image, I've just clicked on the partition there's no filters on or anything like that at the moment um, and uh, here we have our folders and our history cache and so on um, so if I just quickly click on the downloads folder where all these pictures have gone into um, um, although they are all pictures just for the purpose of demonstration I'll show you here how by ticking the pictures filter here we can get all kinds of pictures included and everything else excluded quite easily so I'll put it on anyway um, uh, so in the gallery view by default it will show you the thumbnail pictures of all the images um, at that point I haven't done any skin tone refinement so I've not asked Xmos Forensics to go looking at all the pictures and work out the ratio of skin tones uh, and indeed other shades of be it for black and white documentation and so on um, so at the minute the, uh, the SC column is blank uh, so what I'll do now is refine the volume snapshot and I'll, I don't need to do everything in here but uh, I want to try and make sure as much stuff is in there as possible but the most important one for this purpose is this one here uh, skin tone and black and white detection in pictures uh, I could just click that one single thing but there's a few other bits and bobs that I want to add um, so once we click OK to that it will run off and examine all the various bits and pieces within the image it shouldn't take long as I say it's only about 100 megadata or so so it's now done that it's found a few extra bits and pieces and now in this uh, column there's now a range of percentages which I've already sorted uh, previously before starting the video so by default it sticks the image with the highest ratio of uh, skin tone at the top and scrolls it uh, down to the least and anything that's pure black and white it marks as black and white and as you can see at the bottom are all the black and white pictures uh, ones with either a lot of black or a lot of white or a mix of the two um, but that's still uh, obviously in a small case like this that's easy easy peasy but let's imagine this is a case uh, which I'm sure many people watching this are involved in uh, 
to do with finding all sorts of pictures of all sorts of things. Um, what you can do, imagine let's imagine you've got 15 forensic images in this case with thousands and thousands of pictures. If you click the filter funnel next to the text, you can ask it to sort by whatever you like. So you might say, I only want to see pictures with a skin tone ratio of higher than 33%. And indeed, you can specify that percentage if you want, but by default, it's 33%. You click activate to that, and it will then remove it will then remove the pictures on that are of a particularly uh, high black and white ratio, or indeed pictures that don't appear to contain skin tone. And as you can see by all of these pictures, even this one of Linus Torvalds is a good percentage here that's just, just black, but it still recognises the fact that his face is obviously a skin tone. Um, so there's a few bits and pieces in there. Uh, what I can now do is I can change that to less than 33%. Click activate again, and it will refresh the viewing component. And there you have it. further down, the further down you go, the, uh, the darker the images become. And if we change it to just black and white, it will just show the black and white pictures that are in there. Um, and I've already shown this uh, in a previous video to do with categorizing pictures. Uh, if you need to categorize pictures from numeric values, for example, one to five, um, the easiest way I find is to create five table associations, also referred to as bookmarks by lots of people. Um, and what you can do, if you want to, let's just say I want to bookmark one of these. I'll create a new bookmark. Um, let's call these level five. I know they're not, but let's just do it. Um, remember as well, you can, uh, assuming that you've computed hash values as part of your snapshot refinement, you could even have XWAYS Forensics automatically bookmark any known duplicates. So even if you don't know there's duplicates there, XWAYS Forensics will in, it'll bookmark them as well. Um, so now let's take that filter off, put the higher skin tone one on, and let's. Level one for argument's sake. These as level three. Use keyboard shortcuts to answer the rest. So I want to bookmark them as three, these as two, and so on. And then in your report table column, you can sort by that, and your images are all categorized like that. Um, so that's so that's skin tone detection. Very easy to use and very good. And I might add, um, I think XOS Forensics has had skin tone detection in it for as long as I've been using it, which uh, dates back to around 2007. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I'm fairly sure it's always had it in since then. Uh, I've noticed some other forensic tools are recently adding that functionality as well. Um, uh, I've always found XOS Forensics' ability to do this to be particularly precise. Um, I'm not sure how what algorithms they use to do it, but they seem to work quite well.